In today's video, I've got four mutes from Marcus Bona. What's up, Josh Rozepka here, and welcome to another edition of Mute Monday. If you're new around here, Mute Monday is a series where I discuss and demonstrate different trumpet mutes. And today I am very excited to be sharing with you four different mutes from Marcus Bona. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Marcus Bona, uh, they create incredible cases as well as mutes. I had the opportunity to speak with the son of the founder. Uh, we talked for about an hour and he told me everything. He gave me the history of the company. Uh, he shared the process, how they make these mutes. Now, before I dive into the history of Marcus Bona and uh, the process, how these mutes are created and, and all that great information, uh, let's just check these out. Now, these mutes, they were sent to me uh, by Marcus Bona. However, this video is not sponsored. There are four different mutes here and there are two different straight mutes. There is the standard straight mute and then there's the large straight mute. Then they have something called a soft mute and then they've got a cup mute. All of these mutes are made out of fiberglass. Now, starting off, let's check out this straight mute here. This is the model MB uh, straight mute. This is their standard straight mute. And check this out up close. Really a beautifully made mute. Uh, you can see how nice the finish is on this mute. Uh, they told me that it is an automotive paint. This is a heavy duty paint. And look at the corks on this. You can see that these are synthetic corks. Now, this particular mute right here, I did shave down the corks. I had to use an X-Acto knife uh, in order to get it to fit a little deeper into my bell. Whenever you get a new mute, you've got to make sure that it is fitted properly. Now, the next mute that we're going to be checking out is the MB uh, Large. This is the large straight mute and check this out up close. Now, as you can see, this mute is a lot larger than the standard straight mute. Uh, it is wider and it is uh, bigger there at the very bottom. So this is going to give you a different sound. And I think you're going to be very surprised at just how different this sounds compared to the standard straight mute. And for this mute, I actually didn't have to adjust the corks. Now the third mute we're checking out, look at this. This is very, very interesting. This is the soft mute. And look at this up close. You can see that this is a very long mute. It's a really long and narrow mute and it kind of looks like it's a trombone pixie mute. This, I actually had to shave the corks down in order for it to fit a little further into my bell and to finish out the lineup. We've got this cup mute from Marcus Bona and check this out. Uh, this is such an interesting cup mute design. As you can see up close, uh, the finish on this, it's beautiful. The construction is just terrific. And this is not a very tall cup mute. Uh, most cup mutes are a lot taller than this. Now, when I first got this mute, it was sticking out way too far from the bell. So took the X-Acto knife and I shaved off some of those corks and now it fits perfectly. Now, the Marcus Bona Company, uh, this was founded in 1991. Uh, Marcus Bona, a French horn player with the Sao Paulo State Orchestra. He played with them for many, many years, all the way up until 2003. Early on in the early 1990s, uh, he injured his back and he basically needed a new horn case, something that was going to be lightweight and something that was going to be very strong that he could, you know, carry with him to orchestra, to rehearsal. He had a hobby for many, many years where he was building and flying RC airplanes. Through that hobby, he knew how to work with fiberglass. So he took his fiberglass and he designed and created uh, a French horn case, which is now known as the MB1. And that is one of the most popular French horn cases in the entire world. And then he branched out into all of the different brass and making for woodwind. And uh, they really make some of the best cases that are out there. Now, all these cases, everything uh, originally was being done at home. Uh, Marcus Bona is a true family business uh, with Marcus being the founder and the CEO uh, being his wife and their son, uh, Andre. He's involved with the company. Over the years, they've moved from San Paolo. Uh, they moved about an hour from the city to a very large factory that they were able to build. Now, the first mute that they made, that was for the French horn. However, the trumpet mutes, uh, they came pretty soon after. And these mutes, as I mentioned, they're made in fiberglass. And he explained the process for making these mutes, and it is very fascinating. So they have molds for every single one of these mutes, and uh, they're actually made in two parts. There's the top part, and then there is the bottom part. And they have to take the fiberglass and put them on the molds, 
and you know there's different uh, you know chemicals and and hardening agents that they use takes 72 hours for these to cure. And then they've got to take them off the molds and put them together and, and attach them. And they've got to sand them down. And then they've got to paint them. And they use an automotive paint on this. And it is a uh, great quality. Now the corks, up until around 2000, they were using real cork. Uh, but then it started getting really challenging for them to find a supplier of a really high quality corks. So they started using this synthetic material. Now from start to finish, uh, it takes about five days to make one of these mutes. Uh, it is not a quick process. It is a very labor intensive. Now, when I asked Andre, what was the inspiration for making all these mutes? Uh, basically he told me that they wanted to create another option for players that are out there. And if you know me, you know that uh, the thing that I love about trumpet mutes is that uh, there are so many different types and they give us different options for different musical scenarios. Uh, whether you're playing in an orchestra, whether you're playing in a big band, whether you're playing as a soloist, whether you're recording or playing into a microphone, you're gonna want a different mute with a different sound, a different articulation in order to fit the style that you're playing. And that's where they're really coming from at Marcus Bona. They wanted to just create a set of mutes uh, to give people a different option. The thing about these mutes, they're made out of fiberglass. And because of that, they are very unique unique and uh, they they play and respond differently uh, than any metal than any fiber than any wood and of course because they're made out of fiberglass they are very lightweight and they are very strong i think that is enough uh, hearing about these mutes and the company let's hear how these all sound
All right, so you've just heard all four of these mutes, and what did you think? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button? It really helps me out a lot. Now, starting off with this straight mute, um, I gotta say, I really like the sound of this mute. Um, the evenness, the response, intonation uh, on this mute is really great. Uh, some metal mutes, when you play them really loud, it just gets really, really bright. Uh, this, you don't really get that. It just has got a nice, loud, muted sound that I really dig. And, uh, and the sound holds up throughout all of the dynamics. That being said, uh, this actually isn't my favorite of the straight mutes. I've gotta say that the large straight mute, uh, this one was my favorite. The fullness in sound that this has got. Um, it is very even, it's got a great response. Uh, it plays very well from low F sharp all the way past high C. To me, this is a perfect uh, large ensemble mute. You're gonna get a great, big full sound with a nice articulation. So uh, really digging this mute. And uh, this is one that, that I am definitely gonna be using on gigs in the future. Now, the soft mute, what did you think about this? Uh, I'm not really sure what to make of this mute because uh, it's so different from so many other mutes. I didn't get that response and, and the evenness throughout all of the register as I was really looking for. Uh, so I may need to experiment a little bit more. Um, the sound of this is is really, you know, it's different than either of the other straight mutes. And uh, I know that there's the right situation for this mute. Uh, I'm just not exactly certain what it is. Now, finishing off with the cup mute. What did you think about this cup mute? I gotta say, I really, really like this mute. It's got such a nice sound. It's got a, a real nice core to the sound. It's even the intonation. For me, I would really see myself using this for solo works, uh, classical solos, uh, maybe some ensemble work. Uh, it doesn't have as much of a bite and edge to it as some other cup mutes that are out there, uh, which is why maybe I would, I would steer away from some big ensemble stuff or jazz, big band stuff where you really, you know, you want to cut and have a little uh, brightness and edge to the sound with that edge on the articulation. This mute, it's a different flavor. It's a different character than that. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier, when I was talking to Andre, the son uh, of Marcus, he was telling me, you know, everything about manufacturing, about the history of the company. But then he mentioned about all of the social work that Marcus Bona does in Brazil. They have this organization, it's called the Lira Baragansa Project. And a lot of students, they don't have the opportunities, they don't have exposure to music. So what they've done is they have built classrooms and even a performance space in their new factory. Around 200 kids, they come weekly and they offer classes for brass instruments and percussion. And all of this is provided to the students at no cost. So they're able to come and learn about music and improve on their instruments and participate in these large ensembles. And they've been doing this since 2009. So uh, big kudos to Marcus Bona for uh, just doing everything right. As far as I can see, they're making great mutes. They're making great cases and they are giving back to the community. Now, Marcus Bona mutes and cases, they are distributed uh, all over America. Uh, there's a lot of different music stores that are carrying them, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find these if you're looking for them. Uh, one thing that I'm gonna just add here at the very end, uh, they did tell me about this brand new product. Check this out. Um, I don't have one. I would love to see it in person and to try it out and uh, to review it for you guys. This is a mute case that opens up and it fits over your chair and then the mutes sit right next to you. Um, really very cool. It's one of their newest products. So uh, this is something I'm going to try and check out. I'm going to try and get one and see if I can uh, review it in an upcoming video because it looks like something that would be really appealing to a lot of players out there. All right, that's all I've got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button and hit subscribe. It makes a very big difference. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.